Hello, beautiful people. My name is Miss Taku. Thank you for 300 subs. Yay! Thank you so much. Thank you, Lord. And thank you guys for all your support that you guys have been showing me. And welcome back to another day of Witchwood. We did the piggies, as you can see, smell, and taste. That looks so good. Oh, I made pulled pork last night in the slow cooker for eight hours. Mm, it was so good. But today, oh, oh, I see. Okay, I thought we were going to do the hawk today, but we're actually going to be doing the stag. I kind of want to do the hawk. I was in the mood for a hawk today. I don't, because I just don't remember what it does. And I kind of like leaving stag last. I think that's how I did it before um, when I played by myself. I kind of want to leave the stack last. I know I was talking about putting the wolf last. It's one or the other. I don't know which one to do yet, but I actually want to do the um, the hawk. I think the hawk will be an interesting one, only because I forgot it. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to be doing that, and it's in the fields. I thought it would be in the village. Where's the teleporter? Yeah, because I don't know. The stag is like a whole new pretty area, too. kind of want to leave that so that we can just soak it all in as our last moment. Um, so then we'll do the wolf uh, second to last. Kind of go in a different order. The hawk is in the fields. But yeah, 300 subs. I think we're already at 304, which is crazy because there is a point where I'm just like, oh. I kind of plateaued at like 295 for the past couple of months, I guess. You know, this is it. This is the final ride. Um, but no, I'm really grateful and I just really thank all the new people who came in and thank you for all the support that you guys have been giving me. Where is the... Ah, Gilded Hawk. Okay, so we have to go through the sunflowers. Some grow rich on others' sweat, though it never seems to be enough. Well, ain't that the truth? Jeez. With all the stuff these days, man, people are money hungry. Your money's nice and all, I can't lie. Oh! You're new. Have you been here? He's just chilling. He's not even moving. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oi there, ma'am. Hope you don't have business that way. The mill's in a spot of trouble. The mill, you say? Aye, so I do. I was, up, I was just about to drop off my wheat to the nice couple that works there, but when I heard the ruckus, I thought I best, I thought it best to wait here. What ruckus? Are they beset by bandits? Worse, a businessman! <laughs> the hawk is a land baron that owns most of the property round these parts. I saw him banging on the mill's door with a greedy look in his eyes. Trust me, it's best to lay low until the storm blows over, unless you want to end up penniless. Tsk! <laughs> I have little use for coin, therefore nothing to lose. Perhaps I ought to see what the fuss is about. <laughs> Money! Oh boy! The root of all destruction! The hawk. Man, I don't- Oh! <laughs> he's got stuffy little legs! And he's very freaking stubborn! Leave the door alone. Uh, let me collect these first. Because I, you know, it's good. I know. From what I experienced with the pigs, I best be prepared. Hello. Oh, look at him. By decree of lo by decree of the local bylaw, you must come out. Any who interfere with eviction of this property will face full legal consequences for obstruction of justice. As the stately tycoon hammers on the mill door, a pair of shaking voices call out from the nearby window. Please, Master Hawk, we just need a little more time. You've had ample opportunity to rene renegotiate our contract at the Civic Hall. This is no time for excuses. Now open this door at once. Puh! More miserable contracts. Drop the pretenses, Hawk. You're nothing more than a crook in fancy clothes. Excuse me, but this is a. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Excuse me, but this business does not concern you, madam. Take your snide remarks and be off. I'll determine what business earns my concern. Thank you very much. I'd like to hear the other side of the story for myself. Well, if they insist on remaining locked inside, then I shall depart. But if I do not receive my payment at the bank soon, even a locked door won't stand in my way. 
The hawk steps smartly around you and off down the road to, back to the village, leaving the trail of dust in his wake. Lovely guy. Hmm. These poor millers are still too shaken up to come out. Now, uh, to come out, I'll have to get in round the back somehow. Okie dokie. This place is cool. All right. Is it here? Hatchet my bird. We're just gonna break their stuff. They already have to pay for rent. Whoa. Is that a changeling? Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Sorry. I'll pay for it. I don't care about money anyways. Oh, the couple. Oh, I'm sorry. How how'd you get in here? Did the hawk send you? We don't have anything left to give, we swear. Relax, I'm no thug. Seems like you two are caught between a rock and a bureaucrat. Just how did you get in such a pickle? What's to tell? The hawk is our landlord and we work this mill for him. We've always been on time with our payments. Never missed them once. But that greedy tyrant has been steadily hiking up the cost. We've barely been able to feed ourselves and pay our dues, but we always manage to scrape by. And this last month, he raised the rent again. And what's worse, someone broke in during the night and cracked our millstone. If we can't grind flour, we'll, ne we'll never be able to get the money. And now he says if we can't pay, he'll evict us. Awfully suspicious that your millstone was damaged right as the rent increased. Almost like he wants to get rid of you. We've explained the situation to him, but that man only has eyes for gold. Not a kernel of kindness resides in his heart. Well, let me take a look at that grinder of yours. A broken mill isn't much good to anyone, regardless of who owns it. Really? You do that for us? If the millstone was repaired, we might just be able to make enough flour just before the deadline. I like filling in words, apparently. Am I, am I brain dead? Investigate the millstone. Is this it? <gasps> but there's a chest here. Ah, fairy dust. And green. Okay. What do you need fairy dust for? Alright, let's take a look see. You inspect the granite millstone and run your fingers along the wide crack that has rendered the device dysfunctional. Hmm, just as I thought. It appears that it has it appears to have been done on purpose. The heavy stone could be coaxed back together, but it will require strong bonding magic. Necessary tools for the job. Oh, we have cobblestone, snag vine, restorative doll. Okay, we've made those before. Oh man, uh. Okay, we can make two of these, and then we'll need that charm, which means we need this, which means I need wood! Frick! <laughs> and then I need pumpkin jack bones, which means I need to make this, which means I need to get that! Which means I need to get. <laughs> Alright, well, I need to go get wood. How do I climb back out? Oh, I go through a barrel. Well, luckily, no, this is the farm area. Dang it, I was gonna say, this is the forest area. It looks like the forest area. Oh. Hello. Okay. I got your stuff! It didn't take too long, because I, I went to the swamp first, and I was wrong. I didn't need a bait stick. For the mosquitoes, I needed a smoke pellet. But I did not get as much wood as I wanted to, but it shouldn't be too bad. Get out of there! Stupid cabbage creature. Um, but I can make the doll. I just waited on that. Let's see. Boinky, this figure has so commanding a presence as to demand an order of things disarrayed in its presence. Okay. Uh, where is the crack? I don't even see the crack. There we go. The heavy stone- oh, never mind. Sort of. Idol. You place the idol atop the old millstone. Okay, snag vine. The vines wind their way neatly into the crack of the millstone, beginning to seal it anew. The heavy stone. Cobblestone. The cobblestones clunk down on the face of the millstone. An ominous creaking sound fills the mill as, it, as the grindstone begins to shift and warp. Then, with a bang like thunder, the crack on the stone snaps closed. The couple marvel at the millstone, running their hands over the smooth surface. It's been fixed! It's been fixed! The stone should be more durable than ever. I dare say it might even hold up to any future attempts of sabotage. Oh my, what a wonder! If it's all the same to you, we need to get our grain process right away. The hawk has no patience when it comes to money. He'll already be back at the bank putting through the paperwork. I ought to talk some sense in that penny-pinching buzzard. If I go now, I'm sure I'll intercept him at his office. 
Ah, so yeah, the bank is his office. Okay, so he lives at the bank. But he just comes over here to be a butthole. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, more reeds. Yes, please. Dude, this is the hub for reeds. This is what I need. Ooh. Okay, let's go. Oh, look at this place. Hello. Hello. Wow. Oh, wow. We got a vault, too. Can I talk to you? You don't have an account here, ma'am. How do you know? How do you know? I didn't even say my name. Oh, apparently I can just go back behind you guys. Don't mind me. <gasps> oh, whoa, that's far enough. No one gets in ne there on my watch. I'm sorry. I was just curious. There's a treasure map back there. Hmm, okay. Hello, Mr. Hawk. Well, that's weird. Why would you... Was this like... Was this like your mother? Is this- was this your mom? Hello, mother. Hello, Mrs. Hawk. You convi- conniving. You conniving knave! I know you sabotaged those pill- those poor Miller's grindstone. So what if I did? The property value has gone up and they can't afford the rent. It's up to me to find someone else who can. <laughs> People like you will never be satisfied. You always want more and more. Tell me, Master Hawk, what in this world would you- would you, what in this world would state your would sate your hunger for gold? Simple, the rumpling would. The whatling? The rumpling, a precious fey alchemist. They say he's in possession of an alchemist stone that could turn whatever it touches into gold. If the legends are to be believed, the one to catch the rumpling would be paid his weight in gold. Then why not put your mind to catching the rumpling instead of harassing your poor tenants? Oh, believe me, I've tried. But he's a crafty fellow. I've only ever gotten my hands on a single clue, and I've got that locked up tight in my vault. Oh, that was probably the map. Seems like you're robbing the world of an opportunity just because you can't find this rumpling fellow. No one else can? You eye the nearby bank vault suspiciously. The single guard looks simple enough to bypass. <laughs> If there's nothing else, kindly get out of my office. You're so lovely. Oh, is that grandma? <laughs> is that a duck? Oh, it's a- wait, what is that? Is that a human? I can't tell- it is. Oh my gosh, it's a guy with a beard. Oh, I see it. Because I thought, like, this was, like, a head. Then the nose I thought was a beak. And then this is the man's beard. Right? What am I look- yeah, it's a man in a hood. Not a duck. It looks like an old duck. <laughs> it's better off as an old duck. It would make more sense. Uh, hello. Whoa, that's- uh, I already talked- Ah, Glamour! <gasps> Are we getting a wolf among- I know Glamour is not. <laughs> it's not just a wolf among us, but I know in Wolf Among Us, there you are, like little Glamour trinkets. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to play this game- that game. Mimic's toe, so we'll need this, so we'll need this, that means we need this, that means we need this. Got it! Alright, and then we need... I'm already lost. Oh, this! Okay, so we got somewhat a start for the toe. Now we need this, then we need these. <gasps> I'm out of herbs! Dang it. And then we need smoke pellet. What is that? Frog slime. Dang. I am even low on frog slime. I was catching frogs day and night, dude. Um, so I need to go where? I need to go to the graveyard to go get a skull so then I can make the skeleton key to get the toe. And then I need to go get two more herbs. And is that it? That's it, because I already had a totemic moon drop. How did I get that? Was that from the... I don't even want to know. I, I don't even want to know. Make that. We can make this. Which means we can make the... Ah, uh, the dream of being seen as something other than oneself. Here it is! <laughs> okay. Uh, what's wrong with me? I'm cool. I'm cool. What do I... Do I use it on him? Am I going to look like the hawk? While well, the guard is busy picking his fingernails, you quaff the fruity tasting elixir its masking effects tickle the tips of your toes with a tingling sensation 
Well, you don't feel any different on the inside. You know your outward appearance has changed when the guard glances up at you. Oh, hey, Leonard. Is it time for my shift change already? <laughs> uh, yes, I'm here to relieve you. You better go and get some shut-eye while you still can. You don't gotta tell me twice. I feel like I've been on my feet all day long. Don't worry, I'll keep this vault nice and secure. You count on me. Yeah, sure. Just keep your back straight. The hog's in a foul mood today for some reason. <laughs> Get it? Foul? The guard stretches his shoulders and walks away, leaving you all alone with the bank vault. Let's go! Oh, I wanted to look like a soldier! Hee hee! I'm in your bank! Can't do anything about it! Uh, I can't mess with that. Man. You find the hawk's treasure map, framed with pride. It's a little more than a tattered corner of a larger hole. No wonder the hawk didn't get very far. This is barely a scrap. Squinting at the half-torn line work, you can make out the cartographer's description of a giant of giant dragon bones with a red X marking the spot. Hmm, that carcass looks awfully familiar. I wonder if it's the same as the one that one rotting out in the swamp. I guess the hawk never had much reason to go searching there. Not many real estate investment opportunities. <laughs> yeah, you can't really build in a swamp. That's why the Everglades are just in the in Florida are massive. You can't do anything with wetland. Dragon bones, dragon bones up here, right? Right? Yeah, it's with the Drake. Oh, do I have to mess with the Drake again? Uh, come on, I don't want to. Let me just let me just stay over here. I'll hide. Uh, X marks the spot. I'll have to get rid of these old bones. With what? My hatchet? Uh, how? Ah, the the acidic unguent. Yes, I remember. Okay, do I have it? To, can I make it? Can I? Can I? Oh, dearie. Okay, well, we need a new, which means I need this. See, I collected a little bit this time. And then I need weird water, which means I need a jar. Can I get water? Uh, can I get water um, in this one? No. <sighs> well, okay. Well, let's just go. I don't know which one's the quickest. I think the farm has the quickest spot to collect water for getting in and getting out. I think. But yeah, I hate ecosystem destruction. It makes me so angry. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. There's not, um, nothing new has happened recently. I'm just excited about the new games how I plan on playing. Like, obviously, Wolf Among Us. I plan on playing that. And I know it was requested a long time ago, and I kind of just, like, postponed it because I had already so many videos I needed to, like, get out there. But, um, I remember it being requested to play more Fears to Fathom. Uh, specifically Carson House and that one is terrifying to me I don't know why you guys want me to play that one um, it, I think my biggest fear is people breaking into my own home that is like a big no-no for me I literally get nightmares of like people like at my back door or peeking in the windows like trying to get in oh Oh, it's, it's, it's a nasty one. It's a nasty little fear. <laughs> but yeah, you guys want me to play Carson House, which I, I plan on doing. <laughs> Maybe reluctantly, but I plan on doing it and hopefully it will be a, uh, a good time. Okay, a little newt. There you go. Um, and then I saw, like, this other game. Like, I know I... I played like Five Nights at Freddy's once on my live stream, but there's like this fan made game, and it's almost like a pixel horror of Five Nights at Freddy's. And I thought that one looked so cool. I'm interested in it. Um, I forgot what it's called though. But yeah, that might be a plan, because it just looks cool. Like, I am not really like the biggest Five Nights at Freddy's fan. Like, I'm not like, like all into it. It's all in or nothing. Um,. But I still think it's a it's a fun it's a fun game. All right, corrodes anything except itself. This explains this unconventional bottle. <laughs> uh, here we go. Dissolve. Bye bye, dragon. I'm sorry. Uh, the beast's rock-like remains dissolve into a disgusting white goo. 
leaving behind a conspicuous hidey hole. You reach your hand into the hole and pull out a single copper coin encrusted with grime. Ooh. After scraping away the muck on the coin, you can barely make out a motto etched into the metal surface. To summon the alchemist to thee, at the favoring you must pay it the required fee. Favoring? I wonder if it's referring to, referring to the that overgrown mushroom patch in the forest. Ma'am, why can't I figure this out? Well, I was actually gonna go to the one that was in the farm. That looked like a spot for it. So what is this one? Is this one just like a little- is this a travel episode? Taking tours? Oh, at least I can collect some materials on the way. Is it talking about the one in the back? It has to be talking about the one in the back right corner. Because the back left one is with the little frog kid. So it's- wait. Right? There's one in- yeah, there's one here. Okay, yeah, it's right. I'm right. I'm doing it right. Hello. I'm going to kidnap you. Don't mind me. Just your friendly kidnapper. You're going into my pockets. They are big pockets. Inspired by Merlin. And this. Wait, this isn't it. No. This is. Is this it? Wolf in the night. What do you mean? What? Oh, that's to the village. Gilded Hall. Huh? What? What? Is this not the- What? Field work- This is to the field! Did it not say forest? Yeah, I thought it was talking about that one. That one has like a little house on it. What? What is that house? Well, that's a spoiler. I'm sorry. What is happening? I'm lost. Is it really talking about- Th It is! Oh. I guess we are going to the one that where the frog kid's at. Unless the frog kid's gone now. Hello, excuse me. Oh, he's not with his dada. That's his father. So what, you just chilling in here? Uh, up. I need to go up a little bit. I was thinking about doing Life is Strange as well. Because I saw the new one that has like the new version of Max. And I, I think that would be cool to play too. I don't know. Now what is this fairy- oh. Can I- what? Floral wreath. That's really pretty. Okay. Fate energy convert- uh, fate energies converge on this spot, but to what end is unclear. Alright, give me this. I need a rainbow roll, which means I need dough, which means I need eggs and milk. Oh, okay. Uh, do I need anything else for the roll? Glitter bomb. Glitter bomb, I need another jar. I have 20 of those little slits. <laughs> what is this? Snow snare. Useful against frostlings and crystal newts. That's a frozen treat. That's for the fox. Uh, okay. And we have <laughs> so many. Um, alright. I guess I'll collect all these things and head over to the farm. But yeah, I want to try to do like, I know all these games are old, but they're all so good too. They're just, to me, there just hasn't been any good story games that are recent. Or maybe it's just because I haven't been looking. There are some pretty good scary games, we know that. Like I think, what was it, The Final Pin? That was such a good game. The Final Pin was great. I really liked that one. The final pin was great. What's another good one? I don't... I mean, there is always Five Nights at Grey. <laughs> and there's um, Iron Bark Lookout. Everyone likes my take on Iron Bark Lookout. It is the most, I think, viewed video I have. Which I'm very grateful for. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I kind of just want to go and just have a nostalgic moment of all the games that I appreciated when I was like a kid <laughs> and now I can make like my own like video depictions of the depictions like video versions of them I think that would be fun oh my gosh you guys are loud uh made my glitter bomb I need to make another sweet roll dough got the milk okay. got the rainbow roll and now 
We can make mm -hmm. it. The gifts of the wild, expertly woven together, form an offering greater than the sum of its parts. I don't even know how you fit a sweet roll in a floral wreath, but you know, you do you. I need to get a new wreath soon. <laughs> I don't these are the, yeah, this is this is entertainment. This is what you guys come in here for. For me to remind myself that I need a new wreath. My <laughs> Sorry. Uh, where was it? The forest? Yeah, let's go to the forest. Um, but yeah. Uh, life is strange. Be cool. Be really cool, man. <laughs> okay, you know what? Alright, I got the floor wreath! I got it! I'm sorry! Offering? Did I? Oh! Make way, make way! You're so cute! Hello! You eat it? Oh, wait! Where'd you. Oh, you're. You know, if you want to stay in the corner, you could be in the corner. What's this? That worthless coin said this would summon the rumpling, not some flowery deer. You take a closer look at the discarded floral branch. Antler? Branchler. One of the growing buds looks larger than the rest and it twitches when you poke it. Oh, hello there! Looks like this sprout needs some fresh fairy water. There's no water at this fairy circle, but surely there are others about. I better go plant this thirsty fellow and see what happens. Is that where I go to the other side? No, visit the fairy lake in the field. Oh, oh that's where we got it. So, is that a creature? No, that's just two mushrooms. That, is that what we saw on the map? We're gonna stick this in somewhere? Where is the fields? I know it's, it's... It's... Is it... I'm sorry. Oh no, it's all the way in the back right corner. That's right. That's right. Over here. I don't really know when... Has Wolf Among Us 2 even have like a release date yet? Gosh, I'm so excited. That game is so... Good. Like, it scratches every little, like, I don't know, like, curiosity I have. Like, the fables turning in real life. Uh, there was a show. It's not good for kids, so if you're a child, do not watch it. Uh, it was called Grimm. Grimm was an old but really cool show to me. Where am I going? I think I went too far down. But yeah, Grimm was a really, really, really good show that I, I loved. Here we go! Look at this place! So pretty! Alright, let's stick it in. This looks like that. This looks like just the place. Uh, strange floor requires strange and, and... I'm not even gonna say it. Uh, you stick the budding branchler, <laughs> branchler into the fertile soil of the fairy circle. The suspicious flower bud wiggles with glee, drinking up the magical pond water. After a few minutes, nothing else happens. Come on, come on! I don't have time to watch flowers grow. Maybe I can speed things along a bit. I mean, we sped growth before. A little pick-me-up should be that's all that all that's needed here. Yep, there we go, growth potion. What do we need? Uh, magic pays. I'm so sick of jars. Dang it! I'm out of clay. I made like 20 jars this episode alone. And then we need apothecary. She needs oh more frog slime. I'm out of frog slime. What has the world come to where I'm out of frog slimes? I've been catching these little boogers every single day. I got your silly little growth potion, you silly little branchler. Can I use it now? Oh, wait, did I? A little pick me up? There we go. You drip the invigorating fertilizer on the stumpy branch and it shakes with energy. The ground trembles as roots rip out around your feet. Ah, it is the home that we saw! Spoiler! Also, what are you? <laughs> I love your little hammer! You find yourself- oh, oh, hello. You find yourself looking up at an odd little house that has grown out of the flower bud. An even odder little man sits on the porch glaring at you. Oh, will you just leave me be? I don't know how you managed to track me down, but please go away! Hold on now, you've led me on quite the merry goose chase. You are the rumpling, are you not? He sighs and cleans a smudge off his spectacles. Congratulations, you caught me. The story is true then. I've caught you, and now you must grant me my weight in gold. Curse that stupid legend! Look, sorry you came all this way, but I don't do that stuff no more. I'm retired! These days, 
No, I'm more into woodworking. Wouldn't you rather le have a cute little birdhouse instead? I know a magical contract when I hear one. I found you fair and square, so cough up the gold, shorty. <laughs> hey, come on. We love a short king. Ha, <laughs> too bad. I threw my alchemist stone into the bottomless lake. Without this, that stone to make gold, I'm as poor as a pauper. Why would you do that? Why do you think? Because villains like you kept on trying to shake me down for money. All that rotten stone ever did was bring me misery. Well, I'm not leaving empty-handed. You created the alchemist stone in the first place, so you must know how to make another. He blinks at you with his magnified eyes. You want an alchemist stone of your own? Ha <laughs> ha! Well, okay. It's your funeral, lady. I still got the distilling equipment in my workshop. Just bring me these ingredients to make a new alchemist stone. Oh, uh... Crystal new. Oh, we gotta go back into the snowy area. Alchemist alloy and golden egg. I think we saw the golden egg. Yeah, at the market. Spines from the mountain. And then alloy. Can you leave me alone can I, so I can figure out what I need? You're still following me? What's wrong with you? Go away, you creature. Let me hide. I'm staying in the corner, okay? You can't touch me. I'm in the corner. My corner. Uh, gold, silver fox fur. Puzzle box. I can make one of those. Uh, silver fox fur. How much silver fox fur? One. And how many do I need? One. Okay, so that's not bad. So I need a bit spurvic muscle and frostling snow. And then this is a good against frost. My little creature, hello. Yes, hello. What's up? Hi. Uh, I need to get ice berries, and then I should be able to get that. So I just need to get soporific meat, which means I need to get a potion, which means I need to get a jar. Okay, I got... I can't think. You're, you're bothering me, and I can't think. What's your problem? I don't die because of you! It's your fault! It's, it's your fault! It's your fault! You can go now, okay, bye-bye. <gasps> I don't think we ever encountered a crystal new. I wonder if it's just the same thing, but it's gonna be like an icy meat or something. Or it might be just use a normal bait stick. I have no idea. I need to get berries first. I don't even remember what a frost is. Are you the frostling? You are, okay, so that's what I need to get. Oh, what is this? Pepper bush, best not to pick these with bare hands. Easier, but your talons will do nicely. Ah, I do have bird hands. Okay. No, don't touch me. I don't know what you're gonna do. Don't kill me. I just had a heal. Eagle! That's for you. You can get it. Come on. You dummy! Haha, <laughs> that's cool. Oh, this place is so nice. Yeah, I think this would be a perfect place for our last endeavor. Just experiencing a whole new area with new music. There you go. Enjoy! Go on, Eepy Bye. I'll take that. I don't know how your fur works with my iron. But sure! So we got that done. Now we need to work on crystal newt spines. We haven't encountered a newt just yet. Uh, if only it would tell me. This place is huge, by the way. Oh, what's this? No, nope, that's not it. Not this talk. <gasps> no! Wait! 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 No, I don't mean- No! 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 Up, up on the slopes of the mountain, you spot a camp of dangerous looking fur trappers sharpening the spears. No need to bother them just yet. Oh, okay! Okay, okay, okay. I thought that was gonna start the stag quest in a different manner, but no, that's just a bunch of hunters. Trust me, I will leave them be. We cannot go that direction. Got it. So which direction can... I guess we haven't gone up. Where are these little newts? The normal newts are normally in these logs. This way can we go? Whoa! Whoa! Hold on a minute! What is this? This 
place is massive. That's to the village. Oh, it's connected to the village? I had no idea. Okay. But where are my newts? I need I need a newt, you know. Can I just like this will against newts? I don't wanna make one and waste materials yet. That's the thing. I wanna find them first. Uh oh, hello. Can I stop right there? The court isn't accepting peasants' complaint. Uh, wait, what? The court isn't accepting peasant complaints at the moment. Who are you calling a peasant? Well, whatever you are, you're not on the list. The stag is holding a very prestigious banquet. If you want to air your grievances to one of the royals, you might have better luck with the buck. No! Wait! <laughs> That's not. No! I literally. Okay. Well. No, don't do that. No, 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 no. Bring me back to this. You butthole. That is not what I meant to do. Uh, I was just trying to- There you are! Of course you show up. Of course, of course, of course you show up a little too late. I swear. What did I just craft? I'm clicking on this. It is, it is, it is not working out right now. I am tense. No! No, no, no. You are not allowed. He's allowed. No, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. All of you, go away. Let him eat it! Boogers, man. You guys are just a bunch of boogies. Go away. Okay. So, yeah. I just thought... Mm, I thought talking to the stag at the bottom would trigger it. But no, I guess it could have been... I guess there's more than one way. <sighs> That's so upsetting. Oh well. Well, now we can go to the market. And see what the market has for us. Because I know the golden goose is there somewhere. Let me tell you. It is raining really bad outside. I'll be surprised if my power stays on during all this. Okay, so that's the goose. So what am I... Glitter bomb. And then the egg. The coveted treasure of the most unpleasant waterfowl. Uh, okay, so now I need a glitter bomb. Ah! Uh, well, at least I don't need to fill this jar with anything. There we go. Okay, here you go! Bam! Get wrecked and give me an egg. Oh, I, oh, I did get an egg. Hee <laughs> hee! Thank you! <laughs> They're boogieing! Uh, 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 uh. Get it, get it. Oh, he moved. He moved. He's funny. <laughs> okay, we got all the stuff. Let's go back. I'm so upset that I started the stack. I was trying to be so careful. The newts weren't spawning. They were so stubborn. They just weren't spawning at all. And you saw me. I was cutting. I was cutting wood. I was cutting hard. Well, that sounds weird. I was, I was chopping, okay? I was slicing and dicing. No newts. Well, that's fine. I guess that's what I get for changing the plan, you know? Ah, <laughs> oh, so it's there's the stag and the buck. What's the difference? Aren't they the same thing? I don't know. My arms are cheating. Oh, okay. Hello! I still got the distilling equipment. Okay. Alchemical alloy. The rumpling's eyes light up at the sight of the alloy, and he rubs his fingers together in anticipation. Oh, all right. Crystal newt spine. The rumpling looks away from the newt spine, gesturing vaguely at the ground beside him. You lay it nearby. Uh oh. That's. I thought he commanded me to. What's wrong with it? Is it too cold? Golden egg. You pass the golden egg into the hands of the rumpling, who receives it tentatively, as if it could hatch at any moment. Collecting all the components into his arms, the rumbling disappears into his little treehouse. You can't tell exactly what he's doing inside, but the sounds and smells emanating from the chimney make you think it's better left alone. He emerges some time later with singed eyebrows and foggy glasses. Eureka! I've done it! He holds out a glowing emerald with a pair of iron tongs. Here! <laughs> Go ahead, it's yours! Oh, thank you! You appraise the glittering jewel. It's abnormally heavy in your hands. Very pretty. The little man's giggling abruptly stops and his face falters with disbelief. Oh, um, what's the matter? You seem disappointed. I, 
Oh, it's nothing. This is just not what I was expecting, is all. He strokes his beard th thoughtfully. I guess I should have told you earlier, but there's still there's a slight uh, curse to the stone. It can only be touched by one whose heart is free of avarice. How convenient of you to leave that part out. Since you went to all the trouble of tracking me down, I just assumed you were in it for the gold. Oh my, you know. I don't care for much for the wretched stuff. I, I cannot talk today. I don't care much for the wretched stuff. This gold is meant for someone else. Well, I gave you what you asked for. Our deal is done. Now leave me in peace. All right, all right. No need to be rude. I've got to bring the stone back to the millers. Is the stone- wait, what- I'm confused. Is the stone like- how do you say? What's avarice? I don't even know what avarice is. Indistinguishable for any other stone, but with incomparable potential. What is avarice? I- I want to know what avarice is. Oh! Well, that makes sense for him. That makes sense. Okay! Alright, let's head back. And I don't think the- I mean, I don't know. Would the millers be in it for money, I guess? They're just in it to live at this point because they keep taking all of his her, their their money. Jeez, talking is hard today. You know, when is talking... Like, I think that's another reason why I'm so excited to play <laughs> Wolf Among Us. I wouldn't have to talk! <laughs> Reading will be, about, will be away from me. You're back! The hawk will return with his goons any minute now! Don't worry, I've got a solution to your monetary problems right here. You hold up the alchemist stone proudly. Da -da -ding. Oh, that's a very fine jewel, but I don't think it'll be nearly enough to satisfy the hawk. Just stand back and watch. All this grain is just waiting to be spun into gold. Oh, ho, ho, ho. don't mind if I... Ooh. <laughs> you place the stone into a barrel of grain and it melts through the kernels like butter. The barrel bursts under the weight of the glittering gold coins. Oh, wait, of glittering gold coins spilling out onto the floor. Wow, it's a miracle. <coughs> and I just inhaled saliva. <coughs> yeah, it's a miracle. Oh, <gasps> gold. Glorious gold. You touch the alchemist stone to a bushel of straw and it instantly transforms into a mound of sparkling riches. Amazing. I can't believe my eyes. Ah, uh, glorious gold. Magnificent gold. Wondrous gold. If you know the reference, you probably don't. You roll the alchemist stone into a bag of flour and mountains of gold dust. Amounts of golden dust rip through the canvas sack. How is this possible? I've never seen so much gold in my life. Ah, so I guess... Hello. <laughs> okay. I guess if he's going to turn into gold when he holds it, because he's just so greedy. But if you're not greedy, you could turn whatever you want into gold that it touches. So is it like a object of Midas's touch? Before the millers can... Can so much as count a single coin, the door crashes open. The hawk strides into the mill, flanked by a pair of guards cracking their knuckles. Time's up! Where's my money? Yeah, pay up, squirts! My master hawk! Not to worry, we've got your payment right here! His eyes open wide at the sight of the piles of gold strewn about the mill. What? But how? Never you mind how. This should be more than enough to cover the cost of the miller's debts and the deed to the property. I don't understand. Unless... No, it can't be. He points a hooked talon at you accusingly. Y y you're the rumbling! There's no other explanation! Guards, seize her! The two goons leap forward and grab you thoroughly, roughly by the arms. You're making a terrible mistake. Just take your money and leave these good people in peace. Don't play smart with me, imp. I know how the legend goes. I've caught you, and now you must give me my weight in gold. Ha! I'm rich! I'll lock you up and squeeze you for every penny you've got. I'll be the wealthiest hawk in the entire kingdom. No, the entire world. Now, pay out my first installment, rumpling. He outstretches his hand towards you greetingly. As you wish. Oh! <laughs> you dangle the alchemist stone out over his palm. <laughs> That's right, you suck! The no sooner does the cold stone touch the hawk's skin than a brilliant flash of yellow light engulfs the mill. When the light fades, the hawk stands before you, transmuted into a solid gold statue. What magic is this? Horrified, the two soldiers beat a hasty retreat through the door. What happened? Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He won't hurt you ever again. 
You tuck the stone safely back into your satchel and give the hawk a sta <laughs> a little statue pet. I think this should set you up nicely. Just don't go spending it all in one place. Thank you. How can we ever make this up to you? Live a rich and full life. That ought to be enough for anyone. Aww. You notice a stray feather glinting on the floor. Aha! What a goober. Worth his weight in gold. That's true! It's all the poor little couple. He won't bother you. Now he's decoration. You pluck the golden feather and run your fingers along the gleaming barbules. It makes a sound like coins falling into a wishing well. The soul of the hawk. This is my payment. <laughs> nice. He deserves it. Greed, money greed is the worst thing. I really do believe so. Like, I am, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I, I, I don't come from money. And if I ever got into money, got into, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I hope I don't ever become greedy. I really do. There's just no sense in it. To me, I believe that, you know, money doesn't go with you to the grave. And honestly, people strive for it so much that I think they lose, like, the true meaning of life. Because I don't believe that the true meaning of life is money. I don't. I think money is just what you need to get by. But there's obviously way better, you know, meanings out there. But, um, yes, that is it for today. Um, I'm so mad we started on the stag. That was such an accident. But we will be doing the wolf next. I'm still going to keep the stag last. But this was a good one. This was a little shorter of a recording session than the last one, which was nice. And I'm a little bit more prepared. I think I still have a bunch of wood and whatnot. Let me see. Uh, but where can I see where I just well I need to get more it looks like I need to get more of those and then wood I just need to figure out wood wood oh yeah I got a bunch <laughs> I collected a bunch more today so I should be good for hopefully for next session but thank you guys so much for supporting me once again thank you for helping me reach 304 subscribers thank you for all the views all the support and love that you guys provide for me um, I hope you enjoyed this another session and I will see you in the next one. All right. Thank you guys so much. Bye.